Hello everyone, this is Matt at Prep Pros, and in this video I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about vectors on the ACT. Let's get to it. Vectors are one of those topics that appear very consistently on ACT, but lots of students have never seen vectors before or barely seen them and don't really know how to answer the question. So let's start with what is a vector. Well, a vector always has both direction and magnitude, so it's usually showing some sort of motion. So maybe you're talking about like which direction a car is driving or how fast you throw a baseball, that could be shown with a vector. So vectors are written in the form of basically this little a i hat plus b j hat. And the i hat you can think of as kind of like our x portion and the j hat is like the y portion. So let's say someone's driving their car um, north at three miles per hour, you could show that vector as something like this, where it's basically drawn as like a line and it's showing it's going three miles per hour just like straight north. So we'll first start by kind of how do you draw vectors, which is the first thing you need to know for the ACT. So we'll kind of color code these. So we'll start with, actually leave it black. We'll start with our vector A. Let's say this is just 3i plus 4j. And it can, be, it can be written as just i or j or that little i hat with that little dash part. So what would this look like? Well, we're basically just like almost like coordinate geometry. So we're going over 3 and up 4, and the 3i plus 4j is basically showing you where the vector is going to end. So we could draw this vector A like this, where it's just three over four up. I'll make vector B blue. So vector B, let's say this one's gonna be negative two i plus, oops, two j, sorry about that, plus two j. So this again, we're just gonna go negative two on the i and positive two on the j. So it would look like this. And vectors, you're always gonna start at the origin when you're just drawing one vector. We'll go through adding and subtracting these in a minute. Now we'll make C red. So let's say vector C, let's say this is gonna be negative four I. If it's just negative four I and there's no J, it would just go over straight to the left and look like this. So this is what vectors can kind of look like. So you can think the I and the J shows you where it's going to end up. Now there's a couple things we can do with vectors. The first and easiest thing you're gonna see on the test is going to be adding or subtracting vectors. So let's start with just vector addition. So if we're adding vectors, all you're doing is just add up the i portions, add the j portions. So if you're finding what is vector a plus b equal using these vectors above, all we're going to do is just add up the i components, add up the j components. So vector a is 3i, vector b is negative 2i. So to find the i components, we just add those and to find the j components, we just add the j components, which was 4j for a and 2j for b. So if we just put that together, vector a plus b is just going to equal 1i, which I can just write as i, plus 6j. So that is what our vector a plus b is going to look like. And the first type of ACT question would just simply give you these and say, oh, can you add them together? They could also give you like a coefficient in front. So let's say if it was like 2a plus b instead, or we're just gonna distribute that coefficient in. So and if it's 2a, it would basically be 6i instead of 3i, two times the 3i, plus the b portion is still negative 2j. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the, um, sorry, 2i, not j, my mistake on that one. So that's i, and that's i. And then the j portions are going to be the same thing. So we're going to add the j portions together, except now it's 2a, so it's like 8j plus just 1b, so it's just 2j. And you just add those together. So here, 6i minus 2i is 4i, 8j plus 2j is 10j. And that'd be what our vector 2a plus b looks like. Similarly, if we're doing, say, subtraction, the exact same thing except we're just subtracting. So let's say now we do vector c minus vector b and we'll use those same ones from above. So if we're doing c minus b we're just subtracting. So c we're doing negative 4i for c minus negative 2i which turns into plus 2i and then it's going to be basically there's 0j here so there's nothing for that and then so we'll just put a 0j for our placeholder, and then just minus 2j. 
So again, we're just adding our components together. If we do the math here, we get negative i, negative 4i plus 2j is going to be negative 2i, and then minus 2j. So that's kind of how our basics works for doing addition subtraction. And these questions will appear early in the ACT, they should be pretty easy for you to solve. Again, just put the i's together, put the j's together. It's just combining like terms. Now, the other way we could, they could give you vector addition and subtraction questions is actually making you draw these out. So here, I'll draw another little one that we used from above. And we're gonna now just do say vector A plus B. We'll do our very first one we did right here, but actually drawing it out. And this is something that's called vector addition if we're drawing it out. You kind of think of this, it's called tip to tail. All right, so what we want to do is we're going to basically start at the initial position. So our initial position is going to start at the middle, and then we're going to draw vector A first from doing A plus B. So vector A is going to go over 3. It's going to go up 4, just like we had above. So this would be my vector A. Now what you do for addition is we're going to, when we draw vector B, we're going to start at the end of vector A. So we're starting at like the tip of vector A, and that's where we're going to have the tail of vector B. So from there, we're going to go over to left to and up to, because that is what our graph did up above. So this is our vector B. So that's our A plus B. And then where we end up, that is our resulting. I'll draw this one in, draw it in green. So this resulting vector, like where we finish, is going to be my, that right there would be like my A plus B drawn out. So if you have these together, you kind of just go A plus B, you're kind of linking them together. If we had one instead, just to kind of show you this again with another example, using our ones above. Let's say now I want to draw out A plus B plus C, using all three of mine above. We're going to do our same steps we just did. So I'm going to draw a vector A. So A is going to go again over 3 up 4. From there we'll draw our vector B, which will go left 2 and up 2. And then from there we're going to draw our vector C, which is going to go over 4. And our end point where we finish, if we draw that from our origin, to where we finish, this would show us our A plus B plus C. Because again, we drew this out. This was our vector A. We added vector B. And then we added vector C. And you can kind of see how those are all following our initial vectors that we used to start. Now the final way you could see this, and that could mess it up, or not mess it up, but mess with you a little bit, is they give you subtraction with drawing these vectors. So let's say I draw one with subtraction. So this would be, let's say now we're going to do A minus B. So remember our vector A went over 3 and up 4. So that's our vector A. Now positive B went this way but negative b is going to go the other way. It's almost like you're switching the signs. So this is going to be my negative b, so it's going to go the opposite way, and our resulting vector where we finish again, we're kind of completing from where we start to where we finish, this would be our a minus b. So just remember, if it's minus, it's switching the direction. So just like positive b was up and left, negative b was down and right. So this was a, and then this was our minus b. So that's our tip to tail. So again, you have to understand the basics of how that works because that's the other way they can give you, commonly give you questions on the ACT about vectors. Now the final thing you have to understand about vectors is something called the magnitude. And you can think of the magnitude of the vector as like the length of the vector, like how long it is. The magnitude will show you like, let's say we're talking about the speed of a car, the length of the vector is gonna represent the speed. Um, so the length again shows the magnitude, which often is going to be some sort of motion. Like I, my example again, the speed of a car would show if it was going 20 miles an hour, the vector would be 20 long. If it was going 10, it would be 10 long. So if we have a vector where it's a i plus b j, you find the magnitude is equal to the square root 
of a squared plus b squared, which is basically our Pythagorean theorem. So using our example vector from earlier, which was vector a, which was 3i plus 4j, if I draw this out to find the magnitude, it's the length of the vector. So it goes over 3, it goes up 4. So this can be the length of our vector. You can kind of think of the Pythagorean theorem. This is 3, this is 4, so it's basically 3 squared plus 4 squared equals our third side squared. It ends up that if you do the Pythagorean theorem, the magnitude of that vector is 5. So if I ever ask you about the magnitude of the vector, it's the length. Otherwise, more common stuff you're going to see on the test is doing like this tip to tail stuff that we talked about. And of course, earlier on the test, you'll see some more of the easier, just simple addition subtraction type questions. We hope you found that video helpful. If you did, please like the video. If there's more topics you'd like us to cover in future video, let us know in the comments below. Also follow our channel for lots more SAT and ACT related content.